Have you ever wondered how to build AI systems where multiple agents work together seamlessly? Maybe you have used framework like Langchain, Crew AI, or Autogen, but today I won't talk about any of these. Today I will talk about OpenAI, and OpenAI is exploring this as well, and released a new open source project called Swarm, which lays the foundations and concepts of multi-agent systems. And in this video, I will give you an overview of what Swarm is all about, diving inside the open source repository and examples to understand its main concept. If you are new here, my name is Donna and I have been diving into AI for more than three years now. I have also been working with businesses to help them with automations and AI solutions like voice agent. I'm also running a school community and all the links are in the description of this video. Now let's get started. And first, let's get some a bit of context behind that library. So this is a library developed by Ilan Biggio, which is one of the ML engineers at OpenAI. And he tweeted like that reliable multi-agent systems can actually be very simple. You just need to write abstractions. Check out our new cookbook and handoffs and routines. So there is a cookbook that you can um, access directly. The link will be in the school community and also in the description of the video. And this is the link which talk about orchestrating agents, routines, and handoffs. So there are these two concepts, and the first one is routines. And routines is pretty pretty straightforward because it's about giving like kind of like a um, recipe to like follow step by step, and that's what you're gonna give to the agents. So this is pretty similar to what you will give in Vapi, for example, to your AI voice agents, where you will say. Uh, first, you ask uh, probing questions, then second, you propose a fix, and then third, only if not satisfied, you offer a refund. So this is like, for example, for a customer support agent. Uh, and this is like the script that the customer support agent has to go, th to go through, basically. Uh, and this is the concept of routine. And then you have the concept of handoffs, which is talked about later in this article, uh, which is about like transferring a conversation to another agent. So if you have multiple agents, you will simply take the same conversation and transfer that to another agent. Kind of like what a basic customer support call can do when you're calling uh, for customer support. So this is like a whole GitHub project called Swarm. And in this project, as you can see here, it says that it's only educational framework, that it doesn't really uh, it's not really ready for production. I mean, not yet, but like you don't know if what OpenAI is going to do with it. Maybe they're going to just release it uh, <laughs> later on after they see and test and, and everything. But I would be cautious with using this uh, in, in production. And if you look at the code right here, for example, you can see that it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty intuitive because you simply have to create one agent. Then you create a second agent. You give them instruction functions. But we will dive deeper into this. Uh, right now. So if you go in the package and if you go into the um, examples, you can see like a couple of, of different examples. And the one that I want to kind of talk about uh, right now first before we dive into more complex setups is the basic package which contains the basics examples. And the first one is this one where this is like really, really basic. It's like just scraping the surface where you see that um, he creates like um, a client here, with, which is like a swarm, which is just the library. And then you have an agent that is created. And this agent is just like you have the name and you have the instruction. And then you have the messages, which are the list of the previous messages of that user and the response where they run that agent and the message. And then it simply prints out the latest message. So this, of course, is not usable. It's just a demo. It's just the most basic. Uh, bare minimum demo that you can build basically. And then the second one is another one where you have like, um, so this is one is like simple loop, no helpers. And in this one, there is actually this notion of having a chat with the agent, but the agent is still pretty basic. Again, name instructions. Uh, but there is this logic here where it's like while true. So it's like iterating indefinitely until the user quits that to answer their questions. So with this code right here, you can be like a basic kind of chat GPT agent, like that is like basically nothing more than the chat completion, right? Because there's only one agent. But then you have another one, which is context variables. So in this case, this is also like a single agent. There is no, no more than one agent. 
but you can start including some variables and context inside the agent. Here you can add the name of the customer, for example, their user ID, and you can create this agent like this. So you still give the name, the instruction, and then you can give a function. And the function is like the same principle as function calling where you give it something that it can do. And in this case, what it's gonna do is it's gonna print the account details of that user. So this agent has the possibility to print the account details. That's, that's really basic. Next one, in the, in the same package is function calling. So this one is like a proper function calling examples. It's the same as before, right? Like you still have the, the function, but it's a different function. And that function is able to get the weather. This is where I start getting interesting because the message of the user would be, what's the weather is in, in New York City? And then it will automatically answer the question and show the, the weather based on that function get weather, which in this case is just returning directly a static value, but of course, if you want to implement this, you would like implement it with an API to get the weather automatically. And then the agent will figure out that it has to get the, the temperature from that function. And now you're going to tell me, yeah, this is like possible to do that already with chat completion, function calling and everything. And, and you would be right. But the thing is, we want to go into a setup where you have multiple agents. And the next one is exactly this one. So this one agent handoff is showing like the basic functionality, which is handoffs. And that functionality allows you to transfer from one agent to another agent. So here you have an English agent that has instruction where it only speaks in English. And then you have a Spanish agent that only speaks in Spanish. And what you can do is you can create that function right here that transfer from one agent to another one. So what it's going to do is it doesn't really care about what is the first agent. It's just going to think about what's the next agent to redirect. And in this case, it simply return the agent that you want to redirect to. So in this case, the Spanish agent. If you would want to have transfer to English agent, you would just use the same thing, change the text here, change the uh, value, like the um, agent there, and it will also do that. And what this is doing is nothing more than adding to the English agent a function that allows it to transfer to the Spanish agent. And as you can see, it's not really hard to like build this, this framework and this workflow. And this is like what this project is basically showing around that you don't necessarily need to use Langchain or uh, Langgraph or even Crew AI or Autogen. You can simply like build your own framework yourself and know fully what everything is doing and have control over everything. And what I wanted to, to show you is the airline project because this is like a full multi-agent setup that um, Ilan just wrote and it's really interesting to, to get into it and see how everything is structured. So this example demonstrates a multi-agent setup for handling different customer service requests in an airline context using the Swarm framework. So it's kind of like imagine that this would be a chatbot on the airline website that would handle um, like triage requests, handle flight modifications, cancellation and lost baggage cases. So it's kind of like a customer support um, chatbot that can help uh, with all of these. And for that, they created three agents. The first agent is a triage agent. So that one is determining the type of request and transfer to the appropriate agent. So it's kind of like, if you think about it, when, well, like when we have something like VAPI, for example, you have the squad and you have like the receptionist. This is like the first one that is gonna like identify which agent to redirect to and automatically transfer the conversation and the user to that other agent. And the first one is a flight modification agent. So this one handle requests related to flight modification, further triaging them into. So that one is like a first agent that can then transfer into other agents as well. And these other agents are like specific agents for canceling flights or changing flights. And then you have another one, which is for lost baggage agent, um, as, as it says, to handle lost baggage inquiries. So now you have like all of these agents. So one, two, three, four, five, five agents that are doing five different things with five different functions. And let's see how this is structured and how it's made in this project to, to get some inspiration. So we can see that there are three different package. And the first one that is pretty interesting would be the data routines. And this one has like a prompt folder, which is like a starter prompt. So this is like the, the prompt that they're gonna give to every single 
agent and then you have a triage system prompt as well for the triage uh, agent and then if you go back you have other uh, prompts as well right here so here you have the policies prompt so this one is for example the the refund cancellation request uh, starter prompt and then you have the the policy here with the routine so the routine is like the step-by-step -step, as i was saying before is the step-by-step -step process to handle flight cancellation to handle flight change policy and then you have the same exact same thing with uh, baggages to like handle the lost baggage policy so you have all of these different policies that you can create and then add them into each agent as a routine the next thing as well after that is the configurations so here you have two files once for agents and one for tools if i go into tools it's pretty straightforward these are just all of the tools that the agents can use so in this case you have a change flight one you have a initiate refund initiate flight credits case resolved uh, to say that the case has been resolved and initiate baggage research all of these are just printing out text for now because this is just a simple demo but imagine this connecting to the different APIs, doing some requests uh, in the background and kind of like doing all of that logic to, to handle uh, this specific uh, function. And then inside this configs folder, you also have agents and agents are all about, um, like you have the agents at the bottom. So here you have, for example, our first agent. So this is like the triage agent. And then you give these functions that are in this uh, tools file that I've just showed you you can add the different tools to that agent and also adding the functions to transfer to another agent. This is like the, the handoffs as I was talking about and this is like the functions that you have right here. So you can see this transfer to flight modifications, this transfer to the flight cancel agent. So all of these are simple functions that return an agent. So you have either a function to return an agent or a tool that returns, which is also a function that returns and do some work in the background, calling APIs and, and so on. And now here you have the first agent, which is the, the triage agent. Then you have the flight modification agent. So here you have the instruction and you have the functions as well. And then you have an other agents right here, like the flight cancel, which takes the starter prompt from the other page and also integrate the, the routine, which is the policy and then the list of all of the different functions. So there's nothing crazy here, it's just reusing uh, function calling from OpenAI with uh, adding some extra layers with that agent class from that library and kind of like some extra functions. But the library is, is in itself is pretty small compared to other libraries like LangGraph or CrewAI or Autogen and you don't really need to know anything to start integrating. Like you, it's, it's really like, I'm pretty amazed of how simple uh, they manage to make it and here you have all of the agents and then you have the main class to execute these agents and this is like if you go back to the um, airline right here and then you go to main as you can see it's pretty simple and here you have like some extra things so you have context variables which uh, as we saw before helps to add some context into that agent so you can inject directly some information about the customer about the the flight and this will help to um, the agent to have this, this context information to, to perform actions. And then you just have to run this run demo loop with the triage agents, like the first agent of the whole workflow. The context variables, it's this thing right here. And then and then debug through, it's probably to get act, to have access to like some, some logs and, and so on. Uh, and that's that's mainly it. Like it's it's pretty pretty simple. Uh, and the last part that is interesting in this project is the evals. And this is about testing the agent. So what's interesting here is like, if you go into eval cases, you can see that here on this JSON file, we, you, we can test that the function is being called. So we put a random conversation. Here it says, I want to change my flights to one day earlier. And then we see that the function called is transfer to flight change. So it actually, you can test that the function is being called based on the conversation. And this is extremely useful if you want to test the agent and be sure that any changes that you're doing is not breaking everything. So I would highly recommend you to check this GitHub repo. And if you want me to build a specific um, swarm of AI agent doing something specific, you can go to my school community, make a post 
and I will probably uh, <laughs> and I will look at all of the posts and I will decide like which one uh, is the most interesting and then I will make a full video on the school community where I will be building this whole thing from zero to the end. So I would highly recommend you to also join the, the school community because this is where uh, you can directly talk to me, interact with me, sending me messages, posting things, and then I can give you feedback as well. So, so yeah, I would uh, put the link in the description and see you there. <laughs> so that's warm in a nutshell. We covered routines which give your agents structure and also handoffs with let them pass conversations smoothly between agents. But remember, this is an experimental framework, but it's also a great way to understand some multi-agent concepts, and we actually don't know what OpenAI will do with it. This framework might in the future be integrated in the OpenAI API, for example, maybe the playground, or why not in its main product. If you have any question or are interested in knowing more about AI, like voice agents, automations, or AI tools and wants to connect with other like-minded people, feel free to join my school community, link in the description. I also run some live building sessions and Q&A and it's completely free to join. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.